Senator Jeff Merkley is a Democrat from Oregon. He's on the Senate's Health Subcommittee on Primary Health and Aging. Thank you for joining me, Senator. Appreciate your time. You're welcome. Good to be with you. Uh, let's let's talk about the numbers here because there's not there's not a single highlight here. And here's the thing: experts are saying that we can't blame these numbers on the current recession. What do you make of that? Well, I, I tell you, this is so driven by the issue of, of jobs, because jobs affects uh, health insurance rates. It certainly affects uh, family income. It affects uh, whether or not a family feels good about itself. There's nothing that equates anything we can do to creating good family wage jobs. And we're losing those jobs even before this recession hit. But this has amplified it. There are some of your colleagues who are connecting the passage of the current uh, of the president's current jobs bill. They're connecting that to rectifying the poverty situation in this country. Is that an overstatement? I mean, is this is this problem bigger than, than this bill or any bill for that matter? Well, the problem is is very large, but but the president's jobs bill is absolutely a step in the right direction. Uh, we are underfunding infrastructure in this country. We're underfunding education. He's proposing big investments in both of those. To put it uh, briefly, we need to spend a lot less on foreign wars and a lot less on foreign bases and a lot more on infrastructure and on education. That creates jobs here at home rather than jobs overseas. But uh, energy policy is certainly tied into this. Housing policy is tied into this. Uh, and so there is a core the fact that we are way off track. We've been off track for three decades, and this the recession is just putting the punctuation mark on the fact that we haven't focused on family waste jobs. And now, of course, there is so much uh, attention being paid uh, to cutting social programs, whether it's Social Security, whether it's Medicare, whether it's Medicaid. Uh, most experts, and even the average American now, they will they recognize that these entitlement programs are one of the, the biggest drivers of the debt and deficit. How do we reconcile that view with the 15.1 percent poverty rate in this country right now? Well, a lot of times people want to divert attention from the, the central role of jobs. And so there's a lot of misinformation. Social Security is certainly solvent for 25 years. Medicare, that's a different story, driven by greater longevity of Americans and certainly by the high rising cost of healthcare technology. And we have to take that on. But while we're taking that on, that shouldn't distract us from the fact that we have lost so many manufacturing jobs out of this country. I just did a tour of a number of town halls, towns where a, a Central Mill uh, was the key to the living wage jobs in that community yeah. and, and drove everything else. And those mills aren't producing lumber because there's no housing market. There's no housing market because we deregulated and allowed predatory lending and securities related to it, allowed it to melt down the economy. Uh, so we've got to restore an economy that works for working right. families. Senator Jeff Merkley. Jeff, Senator, thank you. Appreciate your time. You're welcome.